Bible study. Second Peter chapter one gives us insight on the work that God desires to do through his word in your life. And a part of that is that we would grow in a knowledge and an understanding of God and of the nature of man so that we might love God with our mind. But we add to knowledge self-control and we add to self-control perseverance and we add to perseverance godliness and we add to godliness brotherly affection and we add to brotherly affection love. Why? Because, because the goal is not solely to know more, but the goal is to be transformed by that which we know. And there are three potential breakdowns when it comes to applying the word of God in our life. The the first potential breakdown is, is we may be sowing the wrong seeds. There is a sequence to meaningful gospel application and the application is preceded by the right interpretation. It matters how we interpret the word of God because that shapes how it is that we apply the word of God. The second potential breakdown for right application would be the soil of the heart. Mark 4 describes the word of God as the seed that's scattered on the soil and and speaks of the the heart as, as soil that might be rocky, might be hard, or might be ready to receive the seed of the word. And and I would propose to you these two ideas when it comes to exegesis, eisegesis, and Bible study that we're not reading into the word of God what we wanted to say, but the real goal is to take out of the word of God what God intended for it to say. We don't stand in authority over the word. It stands in authority of us, which means our heart posture when it comes to Bible study in preparation for meaningful application is that we have a humility, allowing the word of God to correct, allowing the word of God to shape, allowing the word of God to guide our lives. The third potential breakdown is this idea that we do not, we do not reap the fruit the same day that we sow the seed. You see, it takes time for the seed to germinate and and mature in such a way that it would produce a, a mature, ripe fruit. See, in in our life, it's not just about interpreting, but God wants us to apply. And my question to you today is, are you interpreting and applying the word of God in your life?